Hey everyone, so we're going to go ahead and show you how to set up the Allure from Revo Spin Enclosure. Uh, you can see here that we have one of the Revo Spins here, it fits perfect. And uh, this is definitely a two-man job, so you're going to want to get some help when you're setting this up at your events. So we have the parts here, uh, and when you receive your Allure Enclosure, it's going to come into these bags here. So we have one bag for the fabric. And then you also have two more bags. They're pretty heavy duty bags. Uh, and it's gonna be separated into two. So you have the straight poles for the framing and you also have the curved poles for the framing. They are bungeed. So it's very easy to assemble them. And uh, during the process, we'll show you how to put those uh, poles together. Uh, you also have the corner pieces and then you have some additional hardware here in case you need it. Okay, so just remember uh, that it is a two-person setup and it's always helpful to have a step stool or a ladder, in which case we're going to be using a ladder and a step stool just to show you uh, how you can utilize both. But uh, very important to have a helping hand during these uh, enclosure setups. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and start assembling the, the frame. So we're just gonna show you the whole uh, process of just connecting each piece um, for these poles. You, like I mentioned before, they're bungee together, so all you have to do is just uh, simply connect them. All right, so you can start to see the spiral form from this uh, first this first structure. And um, what you want to notice is that uh, you can see where it ends here. Uh, this is going to be the entrance for it. So depending on how your event is going to be, uh, you're going to want to put this towards the for the entrance. So just be aware of this part because uh, as you start setting it up you'll notice that it gets a little bit more difficult to, to flip around, but it, it is possible to flip around. So we want this entrance to be towards this door so that that way it, it looks a little interesting when people walk in. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and flip this around. And this will just be the top the top of the, of the structure. So you can start to see that as I'm walking in this way, this is where the spiral would meet. So now the next part here is gonna be for the bottom of, of the spiral. So let's go ahead and assemble that part. So we're just gonna assemble this uh, basically right along the same, the same poles. All right, so that's the top and the bottom set up. Um, and it makes it easier because in the next steps, you're gonna have to lift the top spiral up and um, that's gonna connect to the supporting uh, poles which would connect here. But uh, what I want to point out next is gonna be these L-shaped. These are gonna be at the edges of uh, the ends here. So you want to connect the top, or I'm sorry, the, uh, the bottom one. So whichever is going to be the bottom, you'll connect that one. And also for the other end, which is this one. So 
So next step, we're gonna go ahead and connect the, the poles that go straight up to provide structure. And um, you'll notice that these poles, there's two poles uh, that, that go at the ends here and those are straight. Those are gonna be a straight, uh, but the ones that connect here at the, the sides, uh, those are more slightly curved and you'll, you'll start to see that as you connect these poles. So let's go ahead and uh, connect each pole and we're gonna place them right there in the middle. Yeah, so this is, this is a curved one here. You can see this, this slight curve. So I'll just go ahead and place that down. Another curve, and now we have the two straight poles, which let's go ahead and connect those to, so we're gonna put those first on the ends and just make sure you, you find the right letter. You got B, this one's A. So we'll just connect those. All right, and then from that point, uh, we'll go ahead and um, start connecting the curved parts. So you can see those are labeled as well. You got G and you have H. So uh, the bottoms are gonna be G's. So we just wanna look for the G. Okay, so that's that part's done. In the next uh, next part of the video, we're gonna go ahead and show you how we we set up the, the top structure. So one of us is gonna be uh, holding one end, while the next person will uh, connect the other the other end to the top poles. Okay. So now we're ready to set up the top portion of the spiral. Uh, for this one, we went ahead. What we did first is we tied. Uh, the connections at the bottom with the Allen wrench. So just be sure to tie each connection here at the bottom. Uh, you'll, you'll be able to see a hole down here to where you can tie this pole so it's not, uh, it's not loose. So we went ahead and checked all of them, even for the top part, uh, so that way we have a nice uh, strong structure. And so what we're gonna do for, for this part is I'm gonna go ahead and hold the middle uh, well, he's gonna connect the two ends here first. And then at the end, uh, we're gonna connect the other two L pieces. So that way they connect at the edges here. So that, this would be the last step, um, but we're gonna go ahead and start connecting the spiral. So let's go ahead and get that going. So now we're gonna, we're finishing this up by connecting these L uh, connect, connectors. Here you go. And once we're complete with this, then we're gonna go ahead and drape over the, the fabric. So we'll go ahead and uh, position these right around the same spot 
So that way it's easier for us to drape the fabric. Uh, you're you're going to tell that there's a, there's a zipper at the bottom. And um, for this one, we have a green screen. This is going to be on the inside. So uh, we found that it's easy to start from one end and then just work our way down along the spiral. So let's go ahead and we'll spread this out. So you got the bottom here. And you'll see that there's two, there's two zippers. Uh, when it comes time to zipping the bottom portion, uh, be sure to use both zippers to meet at the middle. Um, if you try to zip just one end all the way across, it'll get very tight towards the, the other side and it wouldn't zip all the way. All right, so we went ahead and double checked, make sure everything looked pretty good. Uh, as you can see here, we draped it over. And so now the final step is simply just to zip up the bottom part. Um, like I mentioned before, there's two, two zippers. So here's, here's one zipper on one end. Uh, you can see the fabric, it co covers the corner. And if you come over here, it covers the corner on this one. So the zipper is here. And what you essentially want to do is take both zippers and meet right in the middle. Uh, this makes for an even, even tension on the, on the fabric. So I'll go ahead and start with this one. So you can just pull down if you need to. So what I'm doing is I'm grabbing the outside in this part and I'm just pulling down, I lift up and I hold them together. So that way it's easy for me to, to zip up there. So if you feel like it's a little tight, you can just do that trick by pulling down and then you can start to see this right here. Uh, all the wrinkles are, are coming out now. So again, you're just gonna grab the back black part and this lift up, hold it together if you're just doing it by yourself and start zipping little by little until you meet towards the middle. Everything all zipped up, it's all put together now. Uh, these uh, slight wrinkles here, you can get those out with the steamer uh, portable steamer. That will be nice to take with you to events. Uh, but once you have it all zipped up, you can see here that we, we've we met in the middle here with the zippers. And all we did was just uh, zip it little by little towards the middle. Uh, but that's pretty much how you set up your Allure enclosure. Uh, stay tuned for more tutorial videos. Hope this one was helpful for you.